Hello everybody. Today I figured I'd put a video out about, it's not really slip potting, but just potting with keeping the majority of your root ball together, putting it in a pot. Now, with uh, especially with junipers or pretty much any of your conifers, your pines, that you want to leave, you know, for various reasons, but you want to leave a lot of the roots, the root ball intact, put it in a smaller pot. That's why a lot of times it takes longer to get it, you know, down to a smaller bonsai size pot. This is a young mugo pine. I'm gonna do what it takes to get it put in that pot and then uh, probably won't really be much of a styling, but we're gonna do that. So uh, buckle up and hang on guys. There we go. All right guys, we're gonna start with the mugo pine. Now you guys may not believe this. This is only the second one that I've owned and I have yet to actually repot a mugo pine. I've got the big one I started a little work on and I got scared of messing with it so I uh, just kind of have left it. So I kind of got this guy, you know me and my experimenting. I sort of picked this one up because it looked cool but I can also do a little more work with this one. Uh, Pinus mugo mugus. But this guy will if something were to happen, I do something too drastic, to, wrong. A lot of times these smaller trees can teach you a lot before you go, you know, killing off a fifty, hundred, thousand dollar tree. Of what seeing kind of what this young guy can take. Normally, you know, they well, it just depends. Sometimes they can't take as much, sometimes they can take more, but it'll give you a general idea of what they can or can't take as far as the mugo pine when you're dealing with the little one. So the first thing I'm gonna do. Well, first I'm going to clean this out, but I probably want to leave the surface right in that area. But then however far down I go, then I'll go just to, enough up to all I need to do to get it to fit. Basically put this root ball, whatever's left, right into this pot. But just to start, you'll want to clear out any of the top soil that's just there, you know, until you get down to some of the actual roots. However much you can clear off up top that's not messing with the roots is how much less you have to take off the bottom when you're doing like trying to slip pot the material in or not doing a full on. Or even when you are doing a repotting, sometimes you can leave a lot more. You don't have to bare root every tree, especially you don't want to bare root these. Uh, I think I'm going to actually, I don't know if I like that sticking up out of the ground that much. I may just keep going here where we get to. I haven't really disturbed too much of the roots yet. And the thing about when you're taking it off up here as opposed to down here you're adding height to the tree. So you kind of when you anytime you can do that generally that's what you want to do. Alright we're back. Now I want to show you just how much I, if you can make out how much taper, I, it was pretty much up to here. And this little part here you can tell was just kind of what had been there. And then once we got here, I went ahead and took out some of the roots to expose, see how wide that trunk got. And that's about where it ends, right there. It kind of wanted to start going back. So I'm gonna stop right there. I think if I go any further, it's just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna gain any width. It's only gonna start going back. So right there's about good. And then I was gonna just put this back in the plastic pot because of, of all these roots. And I did take about, I don't know, just a, maybe an inch or so off the top. But then I squeezed it. And I wanna show you, that's kind of how I test my stuff. And when I squeezed it, the bottom started to break apart. If you can make that out. So usually if they'll do that, there's not hardly any roots in here probably. Just a little bit on the outer, there's not really much in here. I bet you when I break that apart, you'll see that you know there's still dirt. And then I'll clean a little bit out and you'll see where the actual inner roots are. So with that being gone, that should fit right in this pot. And actually maybe add a little soil to either you know the bottom or the top. But before I go any further, I also started just kind of, I want to clean the tree out. I probably, crazy growth right in here. I probably am going to have to take some of that out at some point. 
but that's going to be a cool bonsai tree just the early early stages all right guys i changed my mind again on this guy we're going all out this is i don't want to kill the tree but i feel i can do i feel i can take all of this off right here I'm gonna create some deadwood I'm gonna wire up whoa look out hang on I'm gonna wire up this branch bring it kind of twisting back around into here and I don't think I'm gonna to touch this at all there's a lot of good growth here I think I'll leave that this is gonna be our main apex eventually this is gonna be a traumatic experience that happened to the tree give it a lot more character for the future and this branch to, is so inner tight with this one getting it out and twist it around I think will give us a good styling for this tree for the future so you know bass and bonsai we uh, we don't we don't just like go part way half the time we go a little crazy I guess Maggie could probably come up with a you know Japanese word that describes that it's probably not bonsai or bonsai it could be bonsai but uh, we kind of jump in all the way and that's what we're going to do with this guy. So buckle up and hang on. You guys have seen me create deadwood. I'm going to do this and get the wire put on probably. Then I'll show you how I'm twisting around to get it to go together. Then we're going to get this guy in a pot. All right. Our lighting's starting to get a little bad, but hopefully you can make out what I've done. Now this is still from the trunk. This is our best side. But I've turned this all in. Well, I'm turning this all into deadwood. Now, I'm leaving this branch down here so I can only take it down to here. But I've cleaned off all the needles. Now, I'm going to, if you haven't seen, the, watch the other video and more in-depth on how I did that on my big Mugo. But I'm basically just going to, just like you would the juniper videos you've seen, I'm going to squeeze the bark, peel all this off down to where that joint is. I'll stop right there so I can leave this guy there and then uh, we'll come back and see where we're at all right guys got the deadwood going but we've got a dilemma here that's why i think i'm just going to stop today and we'll call this tree good look at it next season i'll show you real quick if it'll let me the trick was to i was going to bring this branch down twist this one around I'll try to show you here get it down like this and that was going to be kind of the style of this tree this was the front the prop all right so we're going to get this guy in the pot and i'll show you basically how easy this soil should fall apart at the bottom there might be a spot where it's got some roots but you can see we're we're still not really into any roots that's just the soil that's built you know that it filled up in the pot when they planted this thing there's still no roots yet now we're starting to get into some and we'll just kind of work this out I'll probably cut them lower ones off to where this uh, root ball will fit right into that pot maybe just a little bonsai soil on the top worked edges maybe a little bit on the edges we'll see and it's always a good idea before you take off too much just to get an idea it's close but if I can give it any kind of lean Alright, now as you can tell, it pretty much filled up the pot, but we are going to try to put just a little bit of bonsai soil, and this is just some leftover stuff to fill in the, any little gaps and holes around the edges. Alright guys, here it is. One down, uh, one more to go. I'm going to get on this guy. I don't know if I'm going to keep these videos together, separate or what, but went a little further than I wanted to with this guy today, but I think it came out looking pretty good. This is our best 
angle for the trunk, but overall, if I had to pick a front right now, it'd still be somewhere probably right here. Pop if you like that little video on uh, just showing you how from taking them, you know, from pre bone actually before even pre bonsai, they're not even, they're just from a nursery material. They weren't even considered, thought of for bonsai, kind of going and skipping the whole pre bonsai stage and turning it into almost bonsai trees. But if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, help share this channel, tell anybody and everybody you know about bass and bonsai. We do do both here. And like always, guys, thanks for watching.